All right, let's talk about the wildest underdog on the periodic table, rubidium. It's element number 37. And trust me, this stuff is no wallflower. Rubidium was discovered way back in 1861 by two German scientists, Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff. Yeah, the Bunsen burner Bunsen. They found it while analyzing some mineral water using this cool new tech at the time called flame spectroscopy. When rubidium burns, it gives off this intense, almost hypnotic red color. That's actually how it got its name. Rubidus is Latin for deep red. Now, here's where it gets spicy. Rubidium is an alkali metal, just like sodium and potassium, but way more reactive. Drop rubidium in water and it doesn't just fizz, it explodes. Seriously, it's like science's answer to a fireworks finale. Please don't even think about trying that at home. But it's not just a party trick. Rubidium actually has some super cool uses. For starters, it's used in atomic clocks. Yeah, those crazy precise clocks that help GPS satellites keep us from getting lost. Rubidium clocks are so accurate, they only lose about a second every 300 years. Imagine never being late again. Rubidium is also used in medical imaging and research, and it even helps make fireworks burn that signature deep red. Oh, and scientists are experimenting with rubidium in quantum computing, so in a weird way, this fiery little metal might help build the future of tech. So next time you look at the periodic table, give a nod to rubidium, the explosive, clock-keeping, future-shaping element you probably never learned about in school. If you love learning about weird, wild elements, hit like and follow for more science shorts.